Alright, so let's continue here. And let's start off with Isaiah chapter 24, verse 4. It says, The earth dries up and withers, the world languages and withers, the heavens languish with the earth. Verse 5 The earth is defiled by its people. They have disobeyed the laws, violated the statutes, and broke the everlasting covenant. Verse 6 Therefore, a curse consumes the earth. Its people must bear their guilt therefore earth's inhabitants are burned up and very few and very few are left again like it says here in proverbs 29 and 1 whoever remains stiff-necked after many rebukes will suddenly be destroyed without remedy so if you don't want to understand the truth then you're going to continue to believe a lie that's what the multi god is telling you you want to continue to eat the quail? Well, he'll let it come out your very nostrils, all right? So in these days, people are feeding off confusion and lies. They're waiting for a, a World War III. They're waiting for doom, okay? In all the words. So the Most High God says, if doom is what you're looking for, then doom is what you're going to get. Because in these days, you're supposed to be seeking peace. You're supposed to be seeking who's your God. And if you don't want no parts to do with that, well then, he's going to only give you to death. Because that is the only path other than life. If you're not going to seek Yahweh, well then, the other path is death. Proverbs 29 and 1. Again, whoever remains stiff-necked after many rebukes will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. Verse 2. When the righteous thrive, the people rejoice. But what happens? But when the wicked rule, the people groan. So you see why it says in Isaiah 24 and 6, Therefore, a curse consumes the earth. Its people must bear their guilt. Therefore, earth's inhabitants are burned up, and very few are left. Verse 7, The new wine dries up, and the vine withers. All the merrymakers groan. See? Why? Well, because again when the wicked rule the people groan all right job chapter 5 verse 22 look what it says here this is for the righteous it says the righteous you will laugh at destruction and famine and need not fear the wild animals okay so again in these days right everybody is worried about a world war three you see the most high god says we will laugh at destruction. Everybody's thinking about Nibiru coming out the sky, right? Everybody's thinking about death and destruction. But the Most High God says that His righteous servants, uh, we're going to be laughing at destruction and famine. Why? Because we're not dying off of that spiritual famine. We're actually getting an increase with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of, through the Spirit of the Most High God, Yahweh, each and every day. So that's why we're not laughing. That's why we are laughing at destruction and famine. All right, and we're not laughing at the at our enemy's fall because the Most High God specifically tells you, do not gloat over your enemy's fall. Let's go ahead and get that. All right, because we got to go ahead and discern everything through the spirit of Yahweh. Proverbs 24 and 17, look what it says here. Do not gloat when your enemy falls. When they stumble, do not let your heart rejoice. You see that? So again, our enemy, they're falling. And why? That is because the Most High God said that these people are wicked. Again, in case we forgot, let's go ahead and show you this. In Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 4. It says, After Yahweh your God has driven them out before you, do not say to yourself, Yahweh has brought me here to take possession of this land because of my righteousness. You see that? That's the reason why the Most High God says that we're going to take root below and we're going to bear fruit above now. Because he's going to test each and every body, see? So you think, right, <laughs> that you go, you go ahead and uh, claim what's yours, right? Because that's what's going on out there, you know, in the Yasharalite community. You know, these false prophets, these false elders, they're teaching our people to do evil, all right? Oh, yeah, uh, we're going to take the white woman. We're going to rape them. We're going to do what we want to them. You see that? Why? Because of you? Because you think you're righteous? Again, look what it says here. Yahweh has brought me here to take possession of this land because of my righteousness, right? Look what it says here. No. 
It is on account of the wickedness of these nations that Yahweh is going to drive them out before you. Who are you, mere mortal? Everything the Most High God does, He does it for Himself. You understand that? And He shares it. He shares it with His faithful servants, with those who are willing and obedient to understand His ways. Okay? His ways. So, this is why the Most High God says in Job chapter 5, verse 22, You will laugh at their, at their, sorry, you will laugh at destruction and famine and need not fear the wild animals. Why? Because you're going to laugh at how the Most High how is driving them out before your face, you see? You're going to laugh at the famine that they're going through. Remember the Most High God says that he was going to turn the, the waters into wine, right? I mean, you know, their Jesus did it, right? So, again, is there anything the Most High God can't do? So the Most High God is turning water into wine. He's giving water to the sincere and wine to the drunkards. You see that? So this is why the servants of the Most High God, they have nothing to fear. Verse 23, it says, For you will have a covenant with the stones of the field, and the wild animals will be at peace with you. That means all the other nations. <clears throat> Verse 24, You will know that your tent is secure. You will take stock of your property and find nothing missing. And what is that? That's the prophecies. The Most High God says, and these days, you're going to see all the prophecies taking place. Let's go ahead and read it for you. In the book of Enoch, chapter 5, verse 1. And it says here, Observe ye how the trees cover themselves with green leaves and bear fruit. Okay, sorry about that. So it says, Observe ye. How the trees cover themselves with green leaves and bear fruit. Wherefore give ye heed and know. You see, because the Most High God says that you were shown these things that you might know. So look what it says. Wherefore give ye heed and know with regard to all his works. And recognize how he that liveth forever has made them so. Verse 2, and all his works go on, thus from year to year forever, and all the tasks which they accomplish for him, and their task change not. Because according as the Most High has ordained, so it is so. Verse 3, and behold how the sea and the rivers in like manner accomplish and change not their task from his commandments. Verse 4, But ye, ye have not been steadfast, nor done the commandments of Yahweh, but ye have turned away and spoken proud and hard words, with your impure mouth against his greatness. O ye hard-hearted, ye shall find no peace. You see? This is why the Most High God says that the servants of the Most High and everybody who believes in their in the words of, of their God, they will live secure. Okay? You will take stock of all your property and find nothing missing. But to the wicked, you shall find no peace. Why? Because you're hard-hearted. Verse 5 in the book of Enoch. Chapter 5, verse 5. It says, Therefore shall ye execrate your days, and the years of your life shall perish. And the years of your destruction shall be multiplied in eternal ex execration. You understand that? This is why the Most High God says that they shall be like dung on the floor with no one to gather them. You see that? Again, let's go ahead and show you. And the years of your destruction shall be multiplied in eternal execration. And ye shall find no mercy. Verse 6. In those days ye shall make your names an eternal execration unto all the righteous. And this is what it says in Isaiah. You shall leave your name for my servants to use in their curses. Right? That's what the Most High God says. Let's go ahead and bring it out. My servant will eat. <laughs> but what about you? 
All you people out there that's waiting for the Hamashiachs and your Jeebus Geist and your Ayru Shai. Well, continue. Continue. You're the one suffering from famine. You see that? You're the one going through that. Isaiah 65 and 13. It says, therefore, this is what the sovereign Yahweh says. My servants will eat, but you will go hungry. My servants will drink, but you will go thirsty. My servants will rejoice, but you will be put to shame. Verse 14. My servants will sing out of the joy of their hearts, but you will cry out from what? From anguish of heart and what? And well in brokenness of spirit. Verse 15. You will leave your name for my chosen ones to use in their curses. You see, this is this is the most high Yahweh's promises to us. You see, look at judgments and promises. You see that? So this is why this is going on in these days. You see, people may think that we are rude. You know, at these, oh my gosh, how can they call themselves men of God or people of God, but their, their mouth, they speak such things of people. Well, the Most High God says, okay, in these days, that these same people out here that's telling you, right, that they are the pastors and they have been anointed and they have got dreams to tell the people this and the people that. Well, these are the same people who the Most High God says that they were going to leave their names for us to use in our curses. You see that? Isaiah 65 and 16. You will leave your name for my chosen ones. You see that? To use in their curses. Why? They did this to themselves. You remember that, okay? They did this to themselves. Let's go ahead and show you that. That they did this to themselves. The scripture says, The righteous hate what is false. All right, Proverbs 13 and 5. The righteous hate what is false, but the wicked make themselves a stench. And what else they do? And bring shame on themselves. They did this to themselves. You understand that? Verse 6. Righteousness guards the person of integrity, but wickedness overthrows the sinner. So guess what? Believing in a man that died for your sins, right? And he resurrected for you. And he's coming back for you. That's wickedness. And it will overthrow the sinner. You see that? The Most High God says that he does not love the sinner or the sin. Because once the sinner keeps continuing to perform, per, uh, do the sin, the wickedness, the sin, is going to overthrow the sinner. So he's going to be given over to what he believes. You see that? Okay, again. Do two walk together lest they be agreed? So, you people out there want peace and love, but you don't want to worship the true God. You don't want to worship the true Savior. You don't want to acknowledge who He is. So again, this is why these judgments has come upon you. Because the true living God is showing you in these days, if you don't want to worship Him and Him alone, whoops, you're only going to leave your name for my chosen ones to use in their curses. That says the sovereign Yahweh Himself will put you to death. But to His servants, He will give another name. So let's read in the book of Enoch, chapter 5, verse 6. And it says here, In those days ye shall make your names an eternal execration unto all the righteous. And by you shall all who curse, curse. And all the sinners and godless shall imprecate by you. And for you the godless, there shall be a curse. Remember, the Most High God talked about that curse. Let's go ahead and show you. Isaiah 24 and 6. Therefore a curse consumes the earth. Its people must bear their guilt. Therefore earth's inhabitants are burned up and very few are left. What is the curse? We always talk about that curse. Let's go ahead and show you. Zechariah chapter 5 verse 3. And he said to me, This is the curse that is going out over the whole land. For according to what it says on one side... Every thief will be banished. And according to what it says on the other, everyone who swears falsely will be banished. And what is that? <laughs> this is that double-edged sword. The Word. Right? The Bible. The Old Testament. The New Testament. Look what it says here. 
Yahweh Almighty declares, I will send it out and it will enter into the house of the thief and the house of anyone who swears falsely by my name.